Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato and today's Everything Music, we're going to count down the top 20 rhythm guitar parts of all time. When I say rhythm guitar, it could be riffs, it could be strumming. The thing about these is that there's something really unique about them and they're all in very popular big songs. Song number 20 is probably the most different one on the entire list and the reason it's unique is because it's actually a really weird riff to sing over. Song number 19 is unique because of the delay that is used on it, the echo. It's using a multi-tap echo that goes between the speakers, and it was a huge hit in 1983. <laughs> Song number 18 is a song you probably don't know. I put it on the list because I think you should know it. It's in an open tuning and it's kind of an intricate lick to play. Check it out. Coming in at number 17, this song I actually learned last week when the guy that wrote it was sitting right in the studio and he played it for me. Check it out. Well, it's not far down to paradise At least it's not for me If the wind is right you can sail away Find tranquility Oh, the canvas can do miracles Just you wait and see Song number 16 is with the guitar tuned down a whole step. It's really kind of an odd riff, even though it's on a massively big song that you all know. And it has a phenomenal melody over this riff. Here it is. Come as you are, as you were, as I Song number 15 has a really brilliant verse guitar part that just winds around and it's just so creative. And I just learned it today for the first time. Here it is. Coming in at number 14, the writer of this song I interviewed a few months ago, and I actually didn't ask him about this song, but what's unique about this is the way that it uses harmonics in the main riff of the song. Check it out. Coming in at number 13, I actually also interviewed the guy that wrote this song. And what I love about this song is that it's got so many different parts to it. It's got a signature opening riff, and the verse section has really unique chords that are not in any other song I've ever played.
Coming in at number 12, this song has a very intricate guitar part. It's got a really weird right hand part and then a lot of chords that use the thumb. I could play it, but I'll let the guy that wrote it play it because he'll play it way better. Coming in at number 11, this song is absolutely beautiful. It has a very weird tuning. C, G, C, G, G, E, and the melody. <sighs> Amazing. Here it is. Quench yourself and drink the water flow below her head. Oh, she If you want to be able to figure out songs like this by ear on one listening, you should check out my Beato Ear Trading. It'll show you how to do that. You can get all four of my courses for 99 bucks. The link's in the description below. Okay, now we're down to the top 10. This particular song I featured in one other top 10 video. It's got one of the best drop D licks, and I absolutely love this song because it's actually got so many interesting licks in it. This is just one of them. Song number nine, I featured on a What Makes This Song Great about four years ago. When I was making up this list, it's one of the first songs I put down. This is probably the most important metal band of all time. Here it is. Coming in at number eight, this song is actually the most intricate musically of any of the songs. Not intricate to play, but it's the most harmonically diverse song in the entire list. Check it out. Coming in at number seven, this song I actually never played before today, believe it or not. And I love this song. I just never figured it out because a lot of songs I just like to listen to. Check it out. Song number six has one of the most recognizable, iconic intro riffs, but the verse riff is even cooler, and it's kind of tricky to play. Check it out. Coming in at number five, this is one of Led Zeppelin's most beautiful songs, and that's saying a lot. It has beautiful verse changes, major sevenths, minor sevenths, diminished seventh chords, and a killer riff section. Here it is.
Song number four was a number one song, and it's got one of the most unique melodies, and that melody is based off the very cool riff. To me, it was very ahead of its time. Song number three, this is a Van Halen song. I've never played it before. I love this riff. I could have put any Van Halen riff on this list. Coming in at number two, this song is in an open G tuning. It's one of the most fun songs to play, and this is made to be played in stadiums. Here it is. Coming in at number one for the most unique part and sound of all time, this was actually a pretty easy choice. Here it is. Okay, that's all for now. Let me know what you think. If there's songs that I forgot, if there's songs that should have been a different spot in the list or should not have been in the list at all, love to know your thoughts. Hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching.